my little birdies. Hey, I'm Sam Peterson, author of two books, Trunky Transgender Junkie and Sugar Memoir of Craving. I am an old gay trans man with bad teeth and I love knives and I need your help. Uh, if you would be interested in having me talk about your knife, get in touch with me and um, send me a knife and I will uh, pay you back for the postage and I will talk about your knife. And that's about it. So uh, just hit me up here on the YouTube and I'll give you my uh, email address and we'll put it all together. Because this is a diminishing collection. It's very sad. I don't know if you can see, probably not. Look at my, well, here's my beautiful Saber uh, Arc Forms something, Saber, uh, Riot, beautiful, beautiful knives, oh. uh, yeah, RSK, ba -ba -bum. what else, Shark, Cub, beautiful, yeah, can you see that, that's an Altam, anyway, uh, if you got something interesting, um, send it to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I just want to keep things moving, keep things going, and I love you, and see you later. What do you think, Walter? Hey, I'm Sam Peterson, author of two books, Trunky Transgender Junkie and Sugar, A Memoir of Craving. I'm an old gay trans man with bad teeth, and I love knives. I'm not here to rate them or tell you about the newest, the fastest, the bestest, the kapowest. I'm here to queerly share my queer love of knives with you. Like and subscribe. <clears throat> wow, that was goofy. Um, yeah, so uh, this week has been kind of a knife rodeo. Um, I ordered the Bel Air, the Kershaw Bel Air, and then got it and realized I already had knives that kind of met that particular need. The Vision FG and the Malibu. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, lo and behold, the Kershaw Bel Air. It is a great knife. It's light, it's steady, it's so well built, you can feel the quality. I don't have any Kershaws, but that's gonna change. I was really impressed by this knife. Here's the thing. I have a diminishing knife collection. I have cut my knife collection down by two thirds, maybe. That's a lot. So I'm looking for knives that give me something unique. Some, do something special, if only for me and my weirdo taste level. I have uh, the runs, so if I leap up and leave the scene, uh, you know what? The Bel Air is a badass blade. I just, I just didn't keep it though. Um, it was partially funds, but mostly I felt like I already had the knife. You know, um, when I saw it online, I did see that it might skew a tad generic, but my impulse got the best of me, and I bought it. It has been returned. So what's on the way to Shea Gay Blade is. The Spider Code Techno 2. It's a smaller knife, looks super tough. I am in love with Marcin Sliz's designs. I have the Sliz Swayback, and I fucking love this knife. I love it. Super sharp, too. This baby is sharp. Look at that pokey blade. Pook. A friend had lent me his Sliz uh, Spidey Chef. Thank you, Eugene. And I fell hard for his design language. It speaks to me. It says, put me on layaway because you can't afford me. On that note, I got the knife off of Caviezo.com's open box page. Who doesn't love an open box? You gotta parse that page every once in a while. Parse that page. Because there is gold in them, our hills. 
My uh, no money, no love, no knives routine is to skip through the blade bench site because sometimes you'll catch a knife that someone needs some cash on fast and you will get it for a steal. Not often, but it does happen. But some knife users have an exalted sense of what their knife is worth. So <laughs> I'm not naming names, but damn. So I do that. I look at Blade Binge real quick, and then I go look at Caviso's open box page and Atlantic Knife's open box page. Sometimes I look at the sales too. I no longer have the luxury buying knives at full price, if I ever did. So the Spidey Techno is on its way. I hope someday to own all of this dude's designs. Um, they're really terrific. I know the uh, Sliz Bowie is a thing, a, a mythical creature. Uh, <laughs> that people will pay extraordinary, exorbitant amounts of money to buy. I saw one on eBay yesterday for over a thousand dollars. Like, what? Anyway, by the segue, I did have a knife win this week, and it's this, the Spideco Sage in Maximet and Aluminium. I have a Sage in uh, carbon fiber, and S30V, I think, and I loved it. I fucking loved it. Don't have any idea why I sold it. But anyway, a dear knife pal from the community contacted me and we ended up making a trade that I surely got the best of. I gave him my brand new QSB Vault by uh, Jacob Lundquist. And I had another knife to go into the trade, um, but he poo-pooed it. That's my new favorite phrase, by the way, poo-poo. And said, just in the one knife, he's a champ. And asked me to pay it forward. And so, keep that in your mind because you may need a favor someday. This sage is quite different from my first. The change of scales almost aggressively alters uh, one's experience of a knife sometimes, and so it is with this. The fundamental sageness of this knife hasn't changed at all. It's still the great spider coble that I loved first. For me, the size is perfect. It fits my physiognomy perfectly, which has been a problem for me in spider coves generally. I found it difficult to find one that really meets my hand. The beloved paramilitaries are a great example. They were just too large for my comfort. Sometimes I find Spyderco blade shapes just too weird. So it's funny to me that I'm attracted to one of the weirdest designers of Spideys ever, Marcin Sliz. The moral of this story, kiddos, and there is a moral, is that you gotta keep looking. Just like with friends and lovers, I don't wanna settle for something that's convenient or present over something that I may have to work for a bit or wait for. I hate waiting. I'm impulsive. I have poor impulse control, but I'm practicing. I'm practicing patience. I gotta be a grown-up. I gotta be a grown-up. And for the, for the knife world, patience is crucial. I can spend my last dollar on a knife just because I have that itch, you know? There's no cream for that, by the way. But if I can hang on, marshal my resources, I may find a gem in all that dross. You're a gem in all this online dross. I appreciate you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Am I too high or am I too low? All right.